Well, initially when the pilot was so far come up for some of our clients to participate in the social farming, um, we were all quite apprehensive because it had been quite new. And we got three clients out and it has been a huge success with the, the experience and the knowledge and the skills that they have learnt from participating within the social farm and pilot. My experience of people who participate in the, po in the project is very positive. Um, all we hear is positive feedback, very good things about it. It helps them feel part of a group and, you know, feels worthwhile for getting up in the day and, and coming down and here to the farm. It definitely has been great for the guys. It definitely has. It's been a huge success and as I say, whenever you see the sense of achievement that they've got out of being part of that and they're very proud of the fact that they have been part of this. There is loads of groups I can see that social farming will benefit. Loads of groups, even from young children right up to older people, the elderly. The work experience that the, that the guys have got there now has been valuable to their own life skills, their own confidence and the potential for, for jobs, for anything happening has been, will be vast. One of the benefits of this programme is, is that it's community based. And as that, and on the vision for change, we, we, we run a recovery model, you know, try to give people choice, but also to keep them in their community so that they don't have to travel to the large urban centres, to Donegal Town, to Letterkenny, to attend a day centre. They can attend Blissbury Farm or wh whatever that's in their locality. I do think that it's only about promoting projects such as the Social Farming Project and to hear, hear the real life stories of individuals um, that have actually participated on the programme and the benefits that they've got out of it. I think that's the one strong thing that will, um, that will assist and support um, to change, uh, you know, change people's thinking. There has been other clients who've been out to visit. Um, other professionals have been out to visit and they've all been very impressed. And I know from the other clients' point of view that they would like to be afforded the opportunity to experience it. Well, I, I would love to see the likes of Blisterby Social Farm, even though it's a pilot project, I would love to see it continue afterwards. Unfortunately, due to cutbacks and major cutbacks, it's, 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 it's getting harder and harder to, to fund even new projects. So um, I suppose it's, 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 again, it's all about partnership, working in a partnership approach to see what funding can be made available. And, you know, from the VECs, from education, and, uh, you know, from health services, and the fact that it's, you know, that it's recreational, that it's rehabilitative, and that it's, you know, that it's therapeutic to, to keep these projects up and running. Eugene has been at this for a long time, and it wasn't a very favourable climate until SOFA, SOFA started this, and it's got, Queens and UCD and other partners involved, I think it would be important that people in those positions and people come out and actually see what is happening. You can't convey it in words. If you can meet people, see what's happening, see the possibilities. Tying social farming in to what is a full-time business has its challenges, but it also has its rewards. And I think if this becomes a recognised program in the future. Uh, the reward for everybody is going to be um, set in stone, so to speak, so that everybody will know what, 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 what it is that they're going to receive from social farming. Through the years, and I have worked in the HSE for 20 years, and through the years we have set up di several different projects, but I have never seen anything work as well as this. And at the beginning I thought, it's not, you know, the, maybe this, you know, the boys might get fed up with this and they mightn't bother, you know, they mightn't be interested in going after a month. But it, as I say, the opposite effect, it has grown on them and it's going, they're, you know, bigger and bigger and bigger for them. So it leaves me with no choice as a support worker for the lads, but to speak on their behalf and to push it for them. The support that is needed as a, from the farmer and from the HSE uh, put together as a package and that's what, what's needed.